Hello, welcome back to Miss Bell's classroom. Today in class, we're going to continue our 1960s series. So what we'll be doing is talking about a brief overview of the United States history, 1960s. So the 1960s was a decade when hundreds of thousands of ordinary Americans gave new life to the nation's democratic ideals. African Americans used sit-ins, freedom rides, and protest marches to fight segregation, poverty, and unemployment. Feminists demanded equal job opportunities and an end to discrimination. Many Americans protested discrimination in voting, education, and employment. Native Americans demanded that the government recognize their land claims and the right of tribes to govern themselves. Environmentalists demanded legislation to control the amount of pollution released into the environment. And another big event was the Vietnam War. So and now I'm going to talk about the, some of the main events in U.S. history in the 1960s, and I'm going to talk about this in chronological order. So, the 1960s started off as a golden age to most Americans. However, that golden age never materialized. By the end of the 1960s, it seemed that the nation was falling apart. Lyndon Johnson's Great Society splintered as the Democratic Party split, and America became increasingly enmeshed in the Vietnam War. So, to start off the 60s, February 1st, 1960, four African American college students from North Carolina, Agriculture and Te Technical College in Greensboro, North Carolina, stage a sit-in at a segregated Walworth lunch counter, protesting their denial of service. This action caused a national widespread event. And so here's a photograph of the four boys in Greensboro, North Carolina, at the sit-ins. And this kind of sparked um, civil rights movement. students, both white and black, for the next eight months. Citizens went across the nation for the civil rights movement. On April 1st, 1960, the 1960 census includes a United States population of about, about 2 million, which was an 18.5 increase since the 1950s. For the first time, two states, New York and California, have over 15 million people within their borders. The geographic center of the United States is located six and one half miles northwest of Centralia, Illinois. July 4th, 1960, the 50-star flag of the United States is debuted in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, reflecting the admission of Hawaii into the Union in 1959. November 8, 1960, the presidential race to succeed two-term president Dwight D. Eisenhower is won by Senator John F. Kennedy, the Democratic candidate for Massachusetts, over Vice President Nixon, Kennedy was a narrow victor in the popular vote by slightly more than 120,000 votes. And the 1960 campaign for President 
president had seen the first televised debate on September 26th. Okay, so now we're going to talk about 1961. On January 3rd, 1961, disputes over the nationalization of the United States business in Cuba caused the U.S. government to sever diplomatic and consular relations with the Cuban government. On January 20th, 1961, the charismatic John F. Kennedy became president of the United States. And here is a photograph of John F. Kennedy. On February 15th, 1961, the entire United States figure skating team is killed in a plane crash near Brussels, Belgium. On their journey to the World Championships, 73 people were killed. April 17, 1961, the Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba is repulsed by Cuban forces and an attempt by Cuban exiles under the direction of the United States government to overthrow Fidel Castro. Here is the photograph of Fidel Castro. The 
Last World's Fair, held in the United States since World War II, opens under the theme of space exploration. Over 9.6 million visitors would attend the exposition over 184 days in central Seattle, whose monorail still travels inside the city. October 1st, 1962, 3,000 troops quail riots, allowing James Meredith to enter the University of Mississippi as the first African-American student under guard by federal marshals. October 14th, 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis begins in response to the Soviet Union building offensive missiles. In Cuba, President John F. Kennedy orders a naval and air blockade of military equipment to an island. An agreement is eventually reached with Soviet Premier on the removal of the missiles, ending the potential conflict after 38 days in what many think was the closest the Cold War came to breaking into armed conflict. In 1963, in March 1963, the last 27 prisoners of Alcatraz, the island prison in San Francisco Bay, are ordered removed by Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, and the federal penitentiary is closed. Here's a photograph of Alcatraz, and this was closed on March 21st, 1963. Shores of the United 
release of I Want to Hold Your Hand, which becomes the Liverpool group's first North American hit. One week later, their first U.S. album, Me, The Beatles, is released. February 25th, 1964, 1960 Olympic champion Muhammad Ali, or Cassius Clay, wins the world heavyweight. Championship in boxing from current champ Sonny Liston. July 2nd, 1964, an obvious legislation in the U.S. Congress on Civil Rights is passed. It banned discrimination in jobs, voting, and accommodations. November 3rd, 1964. President Lyndon B. Johnson wins his first presidential election with a victory over Barry M. Goldwater from Arizona. Johnson extended the Democratic victory by a former running mate, John F. Kennedy, with a 486 to 52 thrashing of the Republican candidate in the Electoral College and earned a 15 million surplus in the popular. February 7th, 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson orders the continuous bombing of North Vietnam below the 20th parallel. to include 
historic sites of regional state and local significance. On November 8th, 1967, the Outer Space Treaty is signed and enforced by the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union to take effect on October 10th, 1967. June 23rd, 1967, a three-day summit between President Lyndon B. Johnson and Soviet Premier Alexei Kostin held at Glassboro State College in New Jersey, culminates a mutual declaration that no crisis between them will lead to war. July 1967, riots plague the U.S. cities. In Newark, New Jersey, 26 are killed. 1,500 injured and 1,000 arrested from July 12th to 17th. One week later, July 23rd to 30th, 40 are killed, 2,000 are injured, and 5,000 left homeless after riding in Detroit. The riots eventually stopped by over 12,000 federal troopers and National Guard incidents. On October Second, 1967, Thurgood Marshall is sworn into office as the first black Supreme Court Justice. 1968 is the next year. On January 23, 1968, the USS Pueblo incident occurs in the Sea of Japan when North Korea seizes the ship and its crew of violating its territorial waters for the purpose of spying. They would release the prisoners on December 22nd, but North Korea still holds possession of the USS Pueblo to this day. February 13th, 1968, Ford's Theater, the site of the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln, 1865 in Washington, D.C. reopens to the public. It had been restored to its original appearance and used as a theater. Now compromising the Fourth Theater National Historic Site. March 31st, 1968, President Johnson announces a slowing to the bombing of North Vietnam and that he would not seek re-election as president. Peace talks would begin May 10th in Paris. All bombing of North Korea halted on October 31st. April 4th, 1968, civil rights leader Martin Luther King is assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee while standing on a motel balcony by James Early Rape. Here is a photograph of him standing on that balcony where he was assassinated.
was shot at a campaign victory celebration in Los Angeles by Saran Saran after primary victories and dies one day later. On November 5th, 1968, Richard M. Nixon recaptures the White House from the Democratic Party with his victory of Hubert H. Humphrey and the third party candidate, George Wallace. Nixon captures 301 electoral college votes to 191 for Humphrey and 46 for Wallace. 1969, January 12, 1969, the New York Jets win Super Bowl third over the Baltimore Colts. After a bold prediction by quarterback Joe Nemeth, this is the first victory in the National Football League for a former American Football League team. January 25th, 1969, four-party Vietnam War peace talks began. In April, U.S. troops in the war reached its length at 543,000 and began the withdrawal on July 8th. July 20th, 1969, the Apollo program completes its mission. Neil Armstrong, United States astronaut, becomes the first man to set foot on the moon four days after launch from Cape Canaveral. His Apollo 11 colleague, Edwin Aldrin, Jr. accompanies him. July 5th, 25th, 1969, President Richard M. Nixon announces his new Vietnam policy, declaring the Nixon Doctrine that expected Asian allies to care for their own military defense. This policy and all Vietnam War policies would be heavily protested throughout the remainder of the year. On November 15, 1969, more than 250,000 anti-Vietnam War demonstrators marched on Washington, D.C. to peacefully protest the war. On November 20th, 1969, Alcatraz Island, the former prison in San Francisco Bay, is occupied by 14 American Indians in a long standoff over the issues of Indian causes. November 21st, 1969, the internet, called ARPANET, during its initial development, is invented by the Advanced Research Projects Agency in the U.S. Okay, so now we're going to talk about fashion in the 1960s. So some of the things that were seen in fashion were wearing casual, colorful clothing, colored tights, 1960s pants, suits were big, shift dresses, go-go boots, and Jackie Kennedy. Um, this too, but the style kind of resembles Jackie 
Penny with the white gloves, hats, it's more colorful. Audrey Hepburn with her lady leg outfit. Okay, more of a casual suit for the men. Now we're going to talk about some of the inventions in the 1960s. So, the first video game console was created in 1966, and here is a picture of that. You can see it looks much different than the video games today. The first computer mouse was created. Here's a picture of that. You can see the mouse and there's a cord that attaches to the computer. The phone number 911 was invented. Cones were invented. Lava lamps were invented. Sharpies were invented. Ices and Slurpees were invented. And the yes, sink for ATMs were invented. So here's a photograph of a man and two women at the ATM. Mm -hmm.